Well, guess what? It's another windy day here at Overly Vast Nurseries. So we've gathered together a little selection of some of the plants that are looking quite nice now at this time of year. Ones that we want to feature and tell you about. Ones that we think you might want to consider growing in and around areas around your home. Lots of really good plants and if you'd like to find out more about them, I'd like to suggest that you click and subscribe to this channel and then as we post new videos, which we're doing all the time, you'll find them turning up automatically in your feed. As I mentioned, lots of really pretty plants and one of the ones that definitely catches your eye right now is this gorgeous little speedwell called Veronica Tidal Pool. And as you see, it is absolutely beautiful with its bright blue flowers, each with a lovely white eye that just seems to glisten and gleam and catch your eye as it spreads out over the ground. And spreading out over the ground is exactly what it does. No more than maybe two or three inches high, four at the most, it'll spread out to make carpets of ground hugging, kind of woolly foliage that then carries lots of these lovely little flowers on it during the springtime, going on into, I suppose, the middle part of the summer. And then it flowers sporadically at other times through the year. But this is definitely the time when it flowers with its greatest profusion of color. What's interesting about this variety is that it will grow in sun or partially shaded conditions. It will grow in a wide variety of soil types. It adapts very well to that and would be very good for putting on banks and hillsides, in rock gardens, falling down over the edges of walls, in between rocks where it will spread out and make a carpet. And also a very good use for it would be in between flagstones on paths and things like that. You can actually walk on this if you have to. It's a little, not the best thing to do, but it will take some foot pressure if it has to and it spreads out and then is very good too because it's extremely hardy this is a zone 4 plant and it will also tolerate salt too if it has to so paths and driveways as a kind of an edger as a spreading out ground cover it as you see would be very very colorful raised at the chicago botanic garden from across that dr jim alt made in 2007 he selected this in 2008 and we've been growing it for several years. Interesting in that it's a cross between two different species, one that grows in Turkey and Armenia, high up in those rocky mountains there, and also another species that's American species, crossed the two and got the best of both of those species. And what's neat about it is that because it's a hybrid, it inherits a thing called hybrid vigor, which gives it all of this wonderful carpeting ability, spreading out to about two and a half, sometimes even as much as three foot wide. So you space them about that if you're trying to create nice ground cover, not really bothered by rabbits and deer and things like that. It really is a terrific little plant that carries all of these gorgeous little white-eyed blue flowers. Interesting in that individually the flowers are kind of like a daylily. They last about one day. When they come out first, you'll see they come out with this very bright blue color. Then they kind of fade towards a purplish color. And in a couple of days time, you'll see each of those flowers pass through the cycle. But then when you look at the tips of the shoots here, you'll see that they're packed with flower buds, which is why of course it keeps going on through the flowering cycle. This is a gorgeous little Veronica for ground cover in a sunny to partially shaded well-drained site. This is Veronica Tidal Pool.